Hello, it's Findaga Games. It's been a while, but back ready to do some more videos and hopefully be a little bit more consistent. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to introduce a new series of challenges that I'd like to be starting called Nailed It or Failed It. Make me a challenge and see if I nail it or if I fail it. Today's challenge is one that I kind of brewed up myself since I've been dreading this project at the same time wanting to rise up to the challenge, so we'll see how it goes. I'm making a basilisk. Let's see how I do. This project contains two of my favorite things to use, and that is a drink carrier with all that texture on it and backer rod. You'll see me use a lot of this in my projects. There's three basic sizes you can get at any hardware store. We're gonna use all three sizes today. First things first, we're gonna use a few lengths of each size and these little chips I cut off of the drink carrier. As you can see, they're kind of spade shaped. These ones here, and they're gonna overlap each other like scale mail armor on the back of the basilisk. And I've also got these two pieces cut out, sort of like a crocodile's head shape and lower jaw. Next step is we're going to be cutting these pieces into different varying lengths and we're going to make them all attach together. And during this cutting session you can see my indecision on a couple pieces, changing my mind, changing the lengths, until I felt like I had a good cohesive body shape for the basilisk. At the end of the basilisk, at the tail, I'm cutting it to a point. And by cutting it on each side and the top and the bottom, I'm gonna trim it so that it comes to a gradual point. Then using a pair of small scissors, I'm going to be uh, fixing up some of the rough edges of the tail, making it look a little more natural than it had before. And with the rest of the body, I'm going to be giving it kind of a natural bend and so I'm cutting these little slits in the side to give it some curvature. And then we're going to be gluing these pieces together so that this creature has a natural curve shape to it. By putting just a little bit of glue in that slit that we cut and then holding it until it dries Sometimes you have to bend this stuff and get it a little tacky before it sets completely. But you can see here in the end result that you get a nice curve that seems to flow nicely. And then we connect this all together and you have the basic shape of the body all ready to go. Next, we're going to be gluing the lower and top jaw onto the head of the basilisk, reinforcing it in the mouth and making a little tongue with the glue as well. Make sure it's setting on there right. It's got a nice gaping mouth. Adding glue to the back, we're gonna be attaching the scales. And as I had mentioned earlier, similar to scale mail armor, we're going to be overlapping these pieces, working our way up to the top. The next step is using a strategy for both texture and strength, and that is by going along the edges of the scales with glue around the shoulders and the base of the neck and making it one cohesive piece, as well as adding some glue behind the head. As I had mentioned earlier, I'm kind of going for more of a alligator or crocodile-ish type shape. And so I'm basically just layering glue in different places, basically just kind of doing something, kind of winging it, just adding glue until I felt that it was right. Going along the edges of the jaw to give it some, I guess, cheek structure. We're also using the heat of the glue gun to add some depth to the throat of the basilisk. And then going over the head and other parts of the basilisk to just give it some lines and some wrinkles, some dots and some scales. Going along the underside of the belly with some stripes to make it look like it's got like a layered scale belly. And onto the part that was the most daunting to me and that was making the legs. 
So by cutting these at about two inches or an inch and a half, I'm going to be cutting small uh, V-shaped slits into these legs to give it some bend. This should help trick the eye into thinking that it is an elbow and not a piece of foam backer rod. By making an X-shaped cut at the end where the feet should be and then cutting one of the splits off longwise, you'll end up with a three-toed claw. And then we'll be adding another slit right above the claw to help it bend even more forward. Here we'll be making an angled cut along the top or the shoulder where it connects to the body and it looks more like a lizard's arm. And just rapid firing these off, I made several and glued them similar to how I glued the body with the hot glue attaching the pieces together. I have six legs here for the basilisk. I know traditionally the D&D basilisk has eight legs, but I decided to go with six on this one since I was kind of short on room. And I don't know, something about six legs just was more appealing. Now getting into more tedious parts, cutting the ends off tons of toothpicks. I am adding some spikes to the shoulders, the back of the head, and the tail of the basilisk, as well as some teeth. Now this guy is looking a little bit more fierce and coming to life. Adding a coat of black paint to the whole thing as well as painting this two and a half inch wood base. And then here it is painted. Got the whole body with several different color patterns layered on top of each other and some textured spots as well. Really makes this thing look like it belongs in the jungle or the dense forest or the marshlands. Using various colors, several greens, dry brushing greens, as well as brown for the stripes, grays for the talons and the teeth, and then red for the mouth and the tongue. And with these small foam I guess you call them the uh, little snowballs you get at the store and some tacky glue. We're going to be putting the eyes in. Just a little bit of glue and carefully mounting these in with tweezers. And then we're going to be adding paint to these eyes. Just a soft grayish blue and then a bright blue for the pupils. Since this thing typically has petrifying vision, I thought it'd be more fierce to give this thing a cold stare. And adding some glue to the feet, positioning it and mounting it to the base, holding it down until it dries, until it's fully mounted to the base, and in the pose that you want it. Luckily, this back rod is very forgiving and you can bend it a little bit. And the glue adheres really well to the porous inside of the cut parts of the back rod. And there it is, all glued up. And now your basilisk is ready to go onto the battlefield and challenge the players who have invaded its territory. Well, what do you guys think? Did I nail it or did I fail it? I'd like to hear your thoughts in the comments below. I feel like I nailed it in some aspects and I also feel like I failed it in a couple others, but that's beside the point. I had a lot of fun making this one and it wasn't as uh, daunting a project as I thought it was going to be. It actually flowed really well and I had a lot of fun. If there's anything you would like to challenge me with, leave a comment, like, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. And that's it for today, but until we meet again. Thank you.